Uh, okay, so finally today, let's talk a bit about uh, Kathleen Kennedy, who says here that uh, there will be, she hints apparently, she's not outright saying this, but she's hinting that an upcoming Star Wars movie will be directed by a woman. Now, I can already hear a certain group of people on YouTube having insane problems with this. They're clutching their pearls. They're making their way to their fainting couches. They are upset that a woman might be directing a Star Wars movie. Um, and you know, come on, you, you know who I'm talking about. But look, do you care? Personally? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, it's, it's interesting because uh, during one of my shows, I was talking about this and you asked me, uh, who do you think would after we read read this uh, report? Who do I think is uh, good to direct Star Wars? And the f- names that came out of my mind were uh, uh, Deborah Chow, who did uh, the best episodes of Mandalorian, and Patty Jenkins. Um, and then I thought about it. And I'm like, man, I honestly cannot think of any guys that could direct Star Wars that I feel safe with. Taika Waititi could do it. Uh, but but his style's a little bit sometimes it's a little extreme. I don't know the direction Star Wars is going. I couldn't I couldn't answer the question right uh right now. I would say Deborah Chow. I I don't mind who does it. I love Star Wars. I and I want it to be great. I don't care who does it. Yeah, I actually no, prefer I, a bald Cuban, so I could feel like you you just want to direct Star Wars yourself is what you're saying. No no no, another bald Cuban so I could see bald who's a bald. Right here. Cuban director. I don't know any. No, I know you're ba- all whatever. I don't man. even know uh you know a director, male director that could do a Star Wars movie at this point. Uh, well, well, there's a lot. I, I don't know where they're going, Matt. I there's no. a lot of people that I think could direct a Star Wars movie. But let's take a look here at the collateral right. or the slash from article. They say uh interview in an interview with BBC News. I think this is like the same one from the one we talked about earlier with Indiana Jones. Uh Kennedy said that without question. One of the upcoming big screen Star Wars movies will be directed by a woman saying here, uh, we've got two or three fantastic women working with Star Wars. We're cultivating a lot of great talent. Now, I agree with this statement here. It says the wording is admittedly a bit vague, but Kennedy was quick to respond. Yes. After the interview asked if there would be a female director on a Star Wars film saying we've already got them before citing Deborah Chow's uh, before citing Disney Plus The Mandalorian, which had Deborah Chow. Uh, and Bryce Dallas Howard. However, that when the interview asked her to clarify if a movie could get a female director, she confirmed absolutely. So yeah, that is right true. Right now, uh, we do have Deborah Chow and Bryce Dallas Howard, our two confirmed female directors inside live action Star Wars. The the you know, and Deborah Chow was great. We both agree she did the best episodes. I didn't think Bryce Dallas Howard was bad. Uh, her episode was fun. I liked it. I liked it. It felt a little off for what we're used to with Star Wars, but I liked that episode. It showed a lot of emotion and it brought us probably the best baby Yoda scene. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a scene where he's grabbing that little ball from the, from the, you know, the I think so. Ball. Yeah. I think, and I think that, that was that one. Theme. That's the one where everyone memes and, and it was so awesome to see it. It was cute, but not over the top where, you know, baby Yoda's teething. So he's biting on it and stuff. And and uh, and I like the the chemistry they had Mando had with the with the woman the indigenous woman from the planet. I, I thought it was I thought it was pretty damn good. And it was the introduction of uh, oh, it was a soup scene, right? The, yeah, the soup scene. We get the soup scene. I was yeah. just gonna say the soup scene. Like everyone's like, are you like the memeing? I'm all like the soup scene. Not to mention uh, the 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 Thal cat, which was another Clone Wars. Uh, um, uh, or no, I think that was a Rebels reference because they the planet Lothar. Um, and then you had uh, a Cara Dune. I mean, it was. I mean, plus the Raider a- ATST. Yeah, there was a, lo- a lot of good elements in that episode. The only thing that fell off to me was the music. It, watch it again, the music. But I don't know if uh, Bryce Dallas Howard had anything to do with that. I mean, uh, other than that, I think it was a pretty solid episode. It's the Dave Filoni ones that were like kind of. Well, the second Dave Filoni one, the first one was fine. Yeah, but it, I, like I said, Dave Filoni's world building is he he's awesome. You know, I agree. So let's go. The article does have a little bit more here. Uh, it says Kennedy has been waffling around the question of a Star Wars movie female director for some time now, countering criticism she hasn't yet hired a woman to helm a major film uh, in the franchise since she took the position. 
But while some progress has been made on the TV front, the films are still a big question mark. Lucasfilm is taking a break from making Star Wars movies for the next few years, though Ryan Johnson still has a trilogy in the works. Yeah, right. Uh, that gives Kennedy some time to find a female director to put in charge of a Star Wars project and to put her money where her mouth is. Now, to that, uh, I, I just I have to kind of sit there and, and laugh at that statement because there's one key thing that that statement is omitting. Did you catch it? No. Right. Well, OK. How much uh, how much line how much time is left on Kathleen Kennedy's contract? Uh, 23? No, 2021. She will I'm not there. be in charge of Lucasfilm unless they magically renew her contract, which I don't think Iger is going to do. Uh, she will not be in charge of Star Wars when they've got this the next movie. Now, she'll be able to set the movie up and probably put a female director in. But other than that, like other than that, She's got to work. She's got to get the Obi Wan show out. She's got to get Cassie and Andor out. There's all the talk of like you know like a High Republic or an Old Republic TV series. I, I I I take all that with a grain of salt anyway. But you know there's all that talk of the other TV shows for Disney Plus because of the popularity of Mandalorian, and she's got to put the right people in the right position because uh, that in my mind is going to be what establishes the the what's left of her legacy at Lucasfilm is. Is re you know because now that they're they're free of the Star Wars sequel trilogy, which I think they were bound to by Bob Iger, if I'm being honest. Uh, they've had their missteps, they've had their successes, obviously. So now they're in this, they're in, they're open. She can do what she wants. She can set things up how she wants to do it. But I think Iger is still relatively calling the shots. Yeah, I agree. Iger Iger is uh is still calling the shots. Uh. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I'm kind of uh, a little bit off the subject, but uh, the Cassie and Andor show. I don't know if I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know if that's ever gonna happen. I don't. I don't see any. No, nah, they get. They're no. There's been movement on it. They've been building the sets uh, in Pinewood. Well, they've already been. Yeah, they've already been building sets up. At least that's what I read. Uh, I'm waiting for a full on production start date to be announced, and I think. But I think we're gonna find out more. Uh, uh in three days. If uh, I think we're going to find out more on Friday, because if I recall, that is when Iger is going to be doing uh, the quarterly earnings call with shareholders. So all of that information is going to be what gets out there when people are going to be dissecting. So we'll know more come Friday, and that will be a lot of fun. Bring uh, on Deborah Chow. Completely, 100%. Bring on Deborah Chow. Give her a movie. Give her the Make Obi-Wan a movie. Screw it. Just, just give her something and make it happen.